After being removed from his chairman position, Rudy Salas defending his choice to vote against a measure that would raise gas tax gas taxes on Kern County residents and residents all around the state. 23 ABC's Brandon Johansson joining us now with what Salas had to say about his decision. Brandon. Hey Tim, I'm live here in downtown Bakersfield, just outside of Rudy Salas's offices. And as we learned yesterday, the Democratic Assembly member was removed from his position as chairman of that committee after he voted against party interests. And then Salas told us this morning, this isn't the first time that something like this has happened. I feel like I made the right decision for the families here in the Valley. Rudy Salas is paying the price for what he sees as standing up for Kern County families. Being true to my word and keeping my commitment to to, uh, to our families here in the Valley that are going to have to uh, deal with this. The Democratic Assemblyman was removed from his position as chairman of the Business and Professions Committee on Monday, 11 days after voting against a measure that will raise taxes on gas by 12 cents. The tax will help with road repair, with $2.6 million coming to fund Bakersfield infrastructure projects this year and nearly $7 million coming next year. The bill needed two-thirds support, which it barely got after Salas voted against it. Now he's facing repercussions for going against the party. You'd have to ask the speaker about uh, his philosophy and how he does that. <laughs> and this isn't the first time a Kern County Democrat has gotten the boot for something like this. Whether you're looking at Nicole Parra, who was uh, kicked out of the building, or uh, Senator Flores, who was removed from his chairmanship. Flores tweeting out the following after Salas was removed, saying there's a history to the seat. What can I say, other than the long-held Valley motto, always do right by the constituents, not the leadership. There's been a history here of folks that stand up for, for what we believe in and, and we stand up for Valley families. And a history of paying the price for doing so. For now, Salas has been moved to the Rules Committee, which, as you might imagine, oversees the rules and the business of the Assembly. But for now, he's just a member of that committee, not any sort of chair position. For now, from downtown Bakersfield, Brandon Johansson, 23 ABC News.